holidays and family get togethers, you ask, what can I bring, right? So for Passover coming up this Friday evening, we have the perfect dessert to bring to your Seder. Here to show us her recipe is Beth Warren. Welcome Hi. to Great Day. Thanks for having me. And I want to start with saying, we're talking Passover, but these recipes are great for any day, any time. Any time, and especially if you're gluten-free or have a guest who's coming over who's gluten-free. Okay. Um, and they are also dairy-free. Oh, we like that. So what's yes. the difference? What makes Passover different from other Jewish holidays? Well, Passover, you have a bit of a food restriction. You can't eat any gluten grains or oats that were mixed with water and left to rise for over 18 minutes. Okay. Yeah, that's the trend. Okay. So a lot of the things we cook are fresh, and I like to always use gluten free flowers Absolutely. and I'm going to take you through a few of them that we could Perfect. Do. What are we making okay. first? The first thing we're going to make is almond butter cookies. Ooh, that sounds so I have a cup of almond butter. Okay. And then I have three quarters of a cup of coconut oil. I have two teaspoons of vanilla and two eggs that I already whisked up. And we're going to mix up all those wet ingredients together. Okay. And the, the gluten-free green here that I'm going to use is almond flour. Almond flour. So, yes. We're going to get to that in a second because I'm going to first put in the salt. Yep. I'm going to put in some baking soda, two teaspoons actually to help it rise, coconut sugar, which is another interesting sweetener. Okay. Yep. That I, that I don't think I've heard of. Yeah, coconut I love sugar. using coconut sugar. It gives a nice sweetness. And then inside, I'm going to add our almond flour. Almond flour. Three and a half cups. That's a load. So it makes a lot of cookies. I'm trying this. Because uh, we all want more. Sugar. Yeah, for sure. Isn't it yum? It, it tastes a little yum. bit like a brown sugar idea. Oh, that's yummy. I love it. It gets potassium from the coconut. And then you're going to mix up the batter. I just wanted to show you what the batter looked like. Okay. And then you're going to scoop it out with a cookie scooper onto a baking sheet. Bake it on 350 for about 17 to 20 minutes. Easy peasy. Yeah, very easy. <laughs> Very easy, gluten-free, delicious for any time. I want you to grab one right there. That one looks like... This one? Yeah, it's calling okay. my name. Sounds it's calling good. your name. So you just put, uh, what kind, are these semi-sweet? What kind? Yes, of... I'm going to fold in the chocolate chips now. Okay. Bittersweet. I like to bittersweet. try to get a bittersweet chip because it has more health benefits to it and tastes delicious. And remember, this is all dairy-free and gluten-free. It's oh, great for yummy. any time. It's great. Put that little kick of coconut. Yes. Just what a little, part? just a tad, just so a it doesn't tad. have to get people free. No, absolutely. Yeah, it's a perfect. Okay. Um, okay, the next thing. This is a quinoa carrot cake. Quinoa? Yes. This seems to be the theme these days. <laughs> oh, I, I like to use quinoa because it's a high-protein whole grain. Okay. And it becomes in a flour like this. It looks really soft, and it gives a nice soft texture that's okay. gluten-free. Perfect for Passover, right? Quinoa flour. Okay. Yes. So first, I have the coconut sugar again. Again, I like to use it because it gives you that blend of the brown sugar and white sugar flavor. Right. I have a cup of oil. Yeah, you could help me with yeah, that. I Perfect. Will help clear out. <laughs> I have two teaspoons of, of vanilla. Okay. And I have the three eggs here. Okay. Yes, this is going to help it rise because gluten also helps rise, helps something rise. Because we don't have that, I'm adding a little bit more egg, and you're going to see that oh. now I'm going to add a whole a tablespoon and a half of baking soda. Okay. And the baking powder, but a little bit less of it, one teaspoon, um, because we do got to help this guy rise. And I want everybody to know this is what the finished product looks like. Yes. And it looks absolutely amazing. These are all healthy recipes. Your book is called Secrets of a Kosher Girl, and you can find all the recipes on my website, bethwarrennutrition.com, with all this delicious stuff. Don't mind me as I just stick exactly. My fork I want in you here, to right? stick it in, and I'm gonna finish this up. Yes, please, Beth. Thank you so very much. Thank you for bringing these healthy desserts to us. We'll be oh, back with more right after this. Try this. I'm